Let's find out what Dan Savage, <laughs> what, what his recipe might be for a successful relationship. Check it out. I think being good to each other, taking care of each other, and not taking each other for granted. Um, and to try to put th keep things in perspective. You know, as a relationship advisor, what I'm constantly noticing is people who are obsessed with the things in their relationships that annoy them. And they can, they can be very articulate and long-winded about their partner's faults or the things that they're dissatisfied with in the relationship. And nowhere near as long-winded uh, or articulate about their partner's strengths or what's good about the relationship. I call it paying the price of admission in a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. There are things about your partner, there are edges you're gonna to wanna to sand off. There are things that as you come together, you're gonna to carve a groove in each other so you fit. There's no the one. There's no perfect person for you. There's maybe a .64 and you round that guy up to one or that woman up to one or that some other point along the gender spectrum up to one. Um, you make them the one. That's an act of will that you did for them and they're doing the same for you. To make that that's happen, an under, that's an under-recognized need in a relationship, because people are saying, "I want the person who I will then never have to change." Or, right, and in practice, no. That doesn't. That person. If doesn't such exist. a person exists, you're not finding them because there's seven billion people in the that, world. That person doesn't exist. Even inside of seven. Billion. E even in seven billion, that person. Even if we get to seven trillion, that person does not exist. Okay, so people, people grind against each other. People annoy each other. So the inter in math, we might call that the 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 intersection function. That mm -hmm. function uh, will, in any healthy relationship, need to be continually adjusted and modified. Right, but my point is, with the price of admission, is you sand off the edges you can sand off so, so you fit together more comfortably, but then you have to identify those things that no matter how much you bitch and complain about them will never change. And you have to ask yourself, is this person worth paying the price of admission to put up with that. And not put up with it and complain about it and guilt them about it all the time. Put up with it and shut up about it. So you have to weigh the rest of the relationship and say that right. it's worth it. Right. right. That is a really interesting thing that you said and he said, because we, there's all kinds of psychological things about making a happy relationship, but we look in the brain at happy relationships and try to see which parts of the brain become active in a really good relationship. And the main part is a brain region which linked with what we call positive illusions, the simple ability to overlook what you don't like about a human being and focus on what you do. And actually that's what he was saying.